probably to, 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 to share a short message that the Lord laid on my heart. And I just want to encourage that we're living in, 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 in a funny time, or, or can I put it this way? We're living in a time where we really don't understand that the, the, even the, the fundis and the, the professors, the guys who know, you can see when they talk, there's an, uh, a, a sort of uh, uncertainty in their voices when they speak. Because nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow, what's going on with this virus and stuff and thing. But one thing we know, uh, in the book of Timothy, I think it's Second Timothy 2, 1, 7, where, where he said that, that God has not given up a spirit of fear. As if, if, if you are a believer, I can guarantee you that... Uh, his spirit will, will keep us calm in these times. We will be at peace, although there's chaos outside. It doesn't mean that we had not take, take not uh, cognizance of what's happening, or being, uh, how can I put it, not informed what's happening. We know what's happening around us, but we are not afraid. You know, there's, there's, there's one thing that, that, that's on my heart for the whole time that I was trying to see and listen, what must I preach and what must I say? Because you can say such a lot of things to people at this time in despair. I know this is the time where we're going to end the Easter, the time where, where, where God gave up His Son for us. And that, I think it's uh, John 3, verse 6, where it says, But God so loved the world that He gave His only book of God and Son that whosoever believes in Him will not perish, but have everlasting life. This is a time where those who have believed, they live everlasting life. They will not perish. And the one thing that I, that, that I want to speak now is the fact that in the book of John, uh, Jesus make it very clear that he said that we are the branches as believers. We are the branches. But we are only the branches if we remain in the vine. Because he it, it, it says a, a, a branch cannot bear fruit by its own self. You, 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 can't, you can't be not connected to the king or not connected to the vine, not connected to, 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 to Jesus who gave his life for you and walk around maybe just belonging to a church thinking that you are a branch, a living branch that are connected to the vine. But one knows if you are born again, you know you are connected to the vine. And if you are not connected to the vine, you know it. They can take, you know, there are certain tapes that you find in hospitals when they, when they, when they, 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 they tape you with that special tape or medical tape, whatever they call it, you getting you, you, you that, that that wound of yours get healed. They can take that medical tape and and, and, and tape you to a tree. Your leaves will fall off because you cannot tape. You can even take a banana or a, or a mango or an apple on a leaf that hangs there, but a few days it will rot and it will just dry because why it's not connected. And that's why I want to ask you, please believers, stay connected, stay focused. Remain in me. That's what, 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 what Jesus asked us in the book of, of John 15, uh, verse 4. He said, if we abide in him, we will bear much fruit. Therefore, on, on in verse 5, he said, we will bear much fruit. And uh, verse 7 also said, that if you remain in me, and my, my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and you will receive it. So my, 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 my encouragement for you is, please, this time where things like look like chaos or not, all I'm asking you guys is, this is a time where you don't have to watch series now and look at series and and phone your friends and WhatsApp your friends. It's, it's a good thing to phone your friends, but remember, he said you must be connected to him, not to your internet. And to, it's, it, I also got internet, but the thing is, it's so easy to be connected to these things like 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 email and Facebook and Instagram and all the connections. It's a good thing. But my question is, are you connected to the king? Are you connected to divine? Really? 
are you connected to the vine? If you are connected to the vine, it's fine if you are connected to the vine. But if not, stop looking at the series and make sure that you know him and get yourself connected to, to, the, to the vine so that there will be fruit in your life and you'll be at peace. Even in a time of this trouble and issues are going around you, he said, if you remain in me, I have overcome this world, you will have peace. And I thank God that we can, we can have peace in him this time. We can have peace because why we've, we've learned to be connected, not to the church, to the pastor, but to the vine, to Jesus, to the one who saved us. And I thank God that I can just pray that God will keep us safe as he promised that he will keep us safe. Let's just pray. Thank you, Father, that we can remain in you so that we can bear much fruit. Thank you for giving us the privilege in a time such as this to let this world see the light and the saltiness in us because we are connected to the vine. You said, Father, that we must remain in you and we will bear much fruit. Thank you, Lord, that we can remain in you this time, even this Easter time, and just experience fruit in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen.